This is our last 2021 BMW M2 with the manual transmission. Manual transmissions are pretty rare to begin with, with most people optioning for the DCT dual clutch transmission. Most of the ones that we ordered in for inventory had that dual clutch transmission. We had very select few manual options, and this one happens to be beautiful sunset orange metallic paired with the black Dakota leather with orange contrast stitching. Before I get into the video, my name is Denver. I'm a client advisor here at Parkview BMW in Toronto, Canada, and I wanted to highlight this unique M2 because until recently, it was actually marked as sold. Unfortunately, the customer did have to walk away from the deal, and now it's a great opportunity for you guys because this car is available. So I wanted to make a video highlighting this car, highlighting unique Sunset Orange with the manual transmission option. So if you know anybody that's in Toronto and they're in the marketplace for a manual, brand new M2 competition, make sure you share this video with them because they're gonna wanna know all the details about this beautiful car. I absolutely love this color. When the sun hits it, it has such a vibrant sparkle to that orange metallic. This one package wise is pretty simple, but pretty awesome. My favorite option, the manual transmission, which like I said, is so hard to get. On top of that, my manager did add in the wireless charging tray on the inside and the exclusive for 2021 M Performance exhaust system. Previously, between 2019 and 2020, BMW did not have an M Performance exhaust system for the M2 competition. Now for 2021, finally have the M Performance exhaust with the carbon fiber tips. And later into the video, I'm gonna do an engine startup so you guys know how awesome this one sounds compared to a no normal M2. This one does have the standard wheel options for the M2 competition with the bicolor wheels wrapped around with staggered Pilot Sport 4S tires. For the F80 and F82 M3 and M4, you would have four pistons in the front, two pistons in the rear, and you wouldn't get these larger brake calipers without going to the carbon ceramic brake option. On the M2, the carbon ceramic brakes are not available as an option, so you get these larger calipers as standard, which unique to the M2 is the only BMW you can get the calipers in a silver color, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm gonna hop behind the camera and give you guys a quick walk around of this beautiful M2 so you guys can know all the special details, what the interior looks like, what the exterior looks like. We'll get underneath the engine bay, we'll get an engine start up in there. And at the end of the video, I'll talk about the cash value pricing that we have for this unit here. Okay, now that I'm behind the camera, let's take a full walk around look. M2 comes standard with these adaptive LED headlights, honeycomb grill, extra side radiators, down here. Oh, I love how aggressive the M2 grill is. Now connects in the center compared to the non-competition model and the extra aggressive edges. I just love how it all ties together. More honeycomb down at the bottom or hexagon. And when you get a carbon fiber front splitter for these cars, it looks absolutely amazing. Coming around to the side, these are the standard bicolor wheels. Are these the 763? I forget the wheel style number, but up close, massive brakes just fill out the whole thing. I just love that. I hate seeing brake setups that are so much smaller. There's a huge gap between the wheel and the rim. Basically, you will not be able to fit anything, anything at all that is less than a 19 inch rim. Basically an 18 inch brake disc setup requires a 19 inch rim to go around. Six piston calipers in the front, M logos, absolutely everywhere m2 air vent on the side for extra styling kind of reminiscent of the e46 m3 your typical winged m mirrors they do electronically fold in if you want as well coming back to the rear tires so a little bit staggered 265 wide in the rear four piston calipers on there M logo on the wheels, M logo on the brake calipers, M logo on the brake discs. Is there M logo on the brake pads? I don't know. Of course, we fill all the tires with nitrogen from PDI. Coming around to the back, LED taillights, some reflectors at the bottom. Ooh, super pretty. M performance exhaust. So you get the carbon fiber tips. And they do have the valve right there. So when you're in Sport Plus, the valves open up and it's extra raspy, like you'll hear later on in the video. Ah, absolutely love the exhaust system. Little M logo is cut out right there. With carbon fiber rear diffuser, this thing looks absolutely beast too. So you get the upgraded M performance wing. 
looks even more and more, more aggressive. Look at this. Can you see the sparkle in the camera? There it is. Look at that sparkle for the sunset orange in the camera there. I think the M2 competition is one of my all-time favorite BMWs. Definitely top three, like E46, M3 GTR, M4 GTS, and an M2 competition are easily my top three favorite BMWs. Let's look on the inside. I also have comfort door access. Boom. Boom. So when you get an M2, there's only two color options whoop, that you can get you, for the interior. They're both gonna be black Dakota leather, and you either get blue contrast stitching or orange contrast stitching. And this one has the orange. So even let's look on the door panel. Look at that orange stitching, Alcantara insert right here. And the M2 competition is the only one with open pore carbon fiber. So it doesn't have the gloss healing it and making it smooth. It's open pore carbon fiber. The stitching looks incredible. Oh. The seats, competition seats pulled over from the M3 and the M4. So much better of an upgrade for the, compared to the normal M2. The orange stitching, the perforated leather is literally orange inside all of them. The M2 door or M2 logo lights up, still has the plastic off. You come purchase it, you can take the plastic off yourself. Comes all the way down in the seats. Open pore carbon fiber trim on the inside and then also up on the dash, more open carbon fiber. This one does have the M seat belt, so you get the tri-color stitching there. When you want to get into the back seat, this a handle right here. Grab it, pull it forward. Press this button right here, and the seats will power forward, allowing you access to the back seats, which once again, more orange. So from the center console, comes back through to the center. Even in the back seats, you have orange stitching and Alcantara inserts on the side of the back seats for the armrest. Tri-color stitching on the rear seat belts. Orange stitching and an M logo embossed into the Dakota leather. And of course, that manual transmission, even the Alcantara shift boot comes with orange stitching on it, which is super cool. Let me go around to the other side. On the inside, you have M2 competition door still. Still has the black plastic protecting it, so or blue plastic, you just peel that off. We'll leave that for delivery day. Same thing on this side, Alcantara inserts. You have the aluminum dead pedal. There is optional and performance pedals you can upgrade to. Lane keep assist and pre-collision system. Your light switch, heated steering wheel, adjustments for your steering wheel, and the steering wheel. This is like my favorite steering wheel of all time for BMW. Tri-color stitching on the inside. I love the shape and the design of it. And you have your M1 and your M2. I know you can get M Sport red buttons for either one, and you can also get a LED display here, steering wheel. You can get a whole upgraded M Performance steering wheel where you have the shifter displays and lights built in all at the top of it. You know, of course, driver seat's gonna be the exact same as the passenger seat. Coming inside, you have red push button start because, well, race car. We give that a click here. You get an M logo here. You know what it didn't do? It didn't show you M2 competition. Will it show you here? Mm, yeah, right here, M2 competition pops up. So whenever you like first unlock the car and you open up the door, M2 competition will show up there. Hearing it on, you have your iDrive controller system, go into my vehicle, and you can set your M1 and your M2 buttons. So right now, M2 is like Sport Plus, Sport Plus. So when engine goes into Sport Plus, that's when your exhaust valves are going to open up. So if I click up here, and then click it one more time to confirm, traction goes, goes over, MDM pops up. Now you know the valves are open at the back. You can also go over. Let's go into, what do I want? Technology in action, sport gauges. Even the sport gauges are different from any other BMW. They're a bit black and more aggressive. 480 horsepower potential. I mean, the car does come stock with 414 horsepower. I love the, just the simplicity, like it's not over and above, it's not full technology, it's nice and simple, it's exactly what you want. There's no head up to display, there's not too much fancy stuff to distract you because this is a driver's car and that's what it's meant for. In shifter, 
Ooh, fresh steering wheel feels good. A little cup holder here, USB port, and you have more settings. If you want to adjust between whatever mode you're on, you can quickly adjust, just say for engine or steering. BDC if you want to activate front and rear, no 360 camera, no above and beyond technology. And this one doesn't even have the sunroof option in, so maximum weight savings. This thing is going to be an absolute beast on the car. While we're here, let's pop the hood. Oh, my favorite BMW engine bay of all time, the S55. I gotta say, they may have made the new S58 and the new M3, M4, and it is a better engine technically, but it doesn't look as good. Air to water in a cooler that's on top that you can upgrade with aftermarket and it will look fantastic. Carbon fiber strut brace that comes down and wraps back up and around. Just makes this engine bay look fantastic. You can go with a carbon fiber aftermarket engine cover. This is such a beast engine. And just tune this engine and you have so much horsepower potential. Twin turbo, three liter, inline six, 414 horsepower stock with unlimited potential. Damn. All right, that's all I'm gonna do for behind the camera. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that walk around of the vehicle. You gotta see the inside, the trunk, everything like that, all the special controls. Now, let's get an engine startup for this vehicle so you guys know exactly what it sounds like. Doesn't this car sound impressive? It's super loud echoing in our M Performance showroom here, and it's gonna be even louder when you put the vehicle under load and you're accelerating through traffic or merging onto the highway. It's gonna sound fantastic. All right, now let's talk about pricing. So you do have a base M2 competition. There was three things added to this. You have the M Performance exhaust, which was $5,900. You have the metallic orange paint for $895, and there's the wireless charging tray for $350. When you total in freight, PDI, all the dealer fees, you're looking at just below $94,000 Canadian for this vehicle. This one is our last manual, so if you are interested, make sure you send me an email down below. If you have any friends who are being in the market for a manual 2021 M2 competition, send them this video to show them what is available. There is not many of these left across all of Canada. I think I was searching, we were trying to find a couple in BC and Alberta, all of them were marked sold. So as far as I understand, this is the very last manual, brand new M2 competition available across all of Canada. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed all the content here. If you did, smash that like button as it does help me with YouTube's algorithm. Consider subscribing for more BMW content in the future, as well as BMW giveaways. Check out my page for the current one. I always got stuff going on like every other week. I'm giving away different free merchandise. So check out what it is up here for this week as well. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget, if you are in the market for this M2, send me an email before it's too late because this thing is going to move extremely fast. And I'll see you guys next time.